Good morning everybody. Uh, today I've decided to post a video describing why I think this particular uh, tiebreaker was rigged and uh, if it's not rigged then what is it? Um, I would appreciate your comments, thoughts. You can tell me what you think happened here but I will tell you why I think it was rigged. Alright so in this CTTH we have 94 yards to the flag with three feet drop in elevation and uh, eight to te eight to twelve miles an hour side wind but it is coming down as you can see it is a slight headwind as well so what I decided to do here was to use about 95 percent power because the hole is playing at about 93 yards I usually like to aim about two yards behind the flag so two yards extra so if it's a 93 yard shot I'll use about 95 percent power and uh, usually it loses a touch of distance and with a little bit of backspin it'll actually drop and stop so what happens here is I also you'll notice now I'm going to play the video I also aim to the left of the flag to compensate for that wind so I'm changing the camera angles I'm aiming left of the flag I look at it from a couple of different angles, I aim a bit more left, drag it a bit more left because I know at this point what's going to happen is the ball, if the ball starts here it's going to drift with the wind, it's going to drift in the air through the, with the wind and hopefully land close to the hole and give me the win because starting over there the wind should blow it this way. Right. As you see, I just gave the ball a little bit of backspin. The ball already has backspin, I just gave it a tiny bit more. Alright, I'm happy with everything. And I've committed now. Look, once again, I've just, just moved the A marker a slight bit more left. Let's just have another look. I moved a little bit more left, I decided to 95% power, you'll see the stats pop up over here, um, I think it's a ball tracer or whatever they call it, and you'll also notice that I hit the ding, and anybody who knows how the ding works, it means that you've hit the perfectly straight shot, the ball should go exactly where you've aimed it not left, not right there's the ding yeah, the ball's already leaving before the club even hits it but that's just a graphical issue alright now the ball's on its way up in the air and what I'd like to do here is just pause for a moment and look at this particular frame or slight frame before this in Photoshop where as you can see that's the ball's position over there this yellow line indicates the, ta the ball the path that the ball took there's the ball if you look in the distance there you'll see there's the flag the ball is pretty much on the flag right now instead of starting left of the flag like I initially aimed which is around about where this pink marker is so this already indicates to me that the, the ball has the game has not uh, acknowledged the inputs that I put in which was to aim left so that the ball would drift back towards the flag and this insert over here is where the ball actually finishes well right of the flag and behind the flag so let's get back to the video. Alright, let's just go back to the point of hitting the ball. No heartbeat, which is what I was expecting. And the plan was to bring the ball in from this side and let it drift back towards the flag and hopefully land somewhere here. Here's the input, the top tracer input so far it's carried 78 yards 
As you can see, I've used 95% power. Remember that we were heading into a wind. And there we go. The ball has landed 97 yards, confirmed over here as well, 97 yards. If we use 95% power of a wedge that is rated at 100 yards, how is it possible that even into the wind the ball will carry 97 yards and as you can see it basically plugs and stops rolls back a little bit which is usually what I like to do I like to land the ball around the hole and let it roll a little bit just a tiny bit at this point I was quite frustrated and I stopped the video recording so my opponent's shot was not included in this video uh, but he did go on to get the ball closer than me and win the tiebreaker. My argument is, as I've described, I used 95% power, the shot carried 97 despite the shot going into the wind. An additional two yards of carry was added to my shot despite the wind. The wind should have slowed the ball down. Furthermore, the ball did not even start on the actual line that I aimed which was well left to the flag. So I aimed over here and what the game is trying to tell me is that this little bit of wind makes the ball finish over here. That's, that's a lot of variation in distance for an 8 to 12 mile an hour wind. Regardless, it must be noted again that the shot was starting on the flag end up finishing to the right of the flag round about where my marker is over here a little bit there about there so I aimed over here and the ball finished here and the ball traveled a lot more than the club power used so yeah that's my theory on that one you can leave your comments below I would appreciate your feedback if you think I'm going crazy tell me I'm going crazy but then back up your statement that I'm going crazy with reasons why the shot played the way it did prove me wrong if you can otherwise like and subscribe for more content like this thank you for watching goodbye